Hello there. In this clip we're going to look at designing a maze, um, the maze part for our maze game. And to do this we're going to use a process called the iterative design process. Now that might sound really complex but basically it, it's broken down into three steps. Formulate, test and evaluate. So we're going to go through stages to get to this design and then go to our final wood design. So we're going to start off here on maze design sheet one and using if you can see here I've created a design here so I've created a design here I've used a pencil and a ruler and I've drawn my design from maze so I've got a start here which is already on and I've got a maze which comes round here so I've worked out the root of my maze I've added drop holes here which are small circles about six millimeters in diameter and there for the small steel balls to just drop down. To make sure to work out that maze works if we use the end of a pencil here and just track round with the end of a pencil I can check that my maze works. So I've used a ruler and a pencil and I've drawn out my maze with a start and a finish. I can test my maze so I've, I've created this maze and now I go to the next stage which is test and I can test it by using this because when we actually get the maze completed the end of the pencil here is about the right diameter so if that moves round we can see that it works and if you see there I can see there's a little it's going to be a little bit tricky here because I've put a drop hole here but this is part of the route the ball needs to take and you can see it does fit through but it might be a little bit tricky so what I've done now is I've created my maze, I've tested it, and I'm going to evaluate it. And I've evaluated it here. Here it says peer assessment, so you can ask a friend or you can complete it yourself. Write down one thing that went well and one could be imp that could be improved. So I've said I've added a ramp to the centre of my game. So there's a ramp here, so the ball has to roll up and then roll down. So that's a good thing. Um, write down one thing that you can improve. Some drop holes might be too tricky. Okay, so we can see here that this drop hole here may be too tricky. So that's something we need to do in our next iteration. So next, we're going to move closer to making our, um, our MDF part by using some card strips. So what I've got here is, this is Maze Desi Design Ideas 2. And what I have here, I've got some thin card strips. And these are the cut, and you can see that they're the same width. These are the pieces of wood that we're going to use. When we complete our maze, we're going to add these pieces of wood to make the little barriers, the little walls for our maze that the ball can run along. And we've got this card, which is exactly the same thickness there, if you can see that, as our wooden strips. Incidentally, these squares, as you can see here, are exactly the same size as our maze. So not only now are we working with the same size background as our maze, but we're working with the same size strips. So if you can see there, I've used the, the card strips and I've used glue and scissors. So what I've done is just cut off pieces there and used a small amount of glue. If I take the glue here, I can just put the glue there and I can just stick these on where I want them. Once I've completed that, so I, I took a little bit of time, so I've taken my basic design here and I've just changed it, so I've changed it here a bit, I've added um, I've taken the drop hole that was here away and I've added this little part here which I've just put another piece on, I'll just trim that. But you can see now, and if I take the end of my pencil, I can come round here and although it, it should be challenging, but it, it, it should work. So again, I've tested it and I'm just now over here recording what I've done. So I've completed this, I've added my drop holes, I've got a start and a finish, and I've retained my ramp because I thought that was good, but I've just changed it here 
So I've just done the, the iterative design is I've gone to another version, which is an improved version. Once we've got that, I've just made a little comment here saying, write down one thing that you've improved of previous designs, and it's, I've added more complexity, I've added these parts here, and I've moved some of the drop holes. So that's the design I'm going to work with. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a piece of um, the 6mm MDF. The 6mm MDF fits, is here, and this will fit into the tray of your maze game. Now once you've got this, the, the MDF, you can draw on it just like you can draw on a piece of paper. So what I've done here now, you can see I've used a ruler and I've used a pencil and I've transferred the design from here onto here. So I've kept the width, it's important to keep that width because we know that the sticks we're going to use here are the correct width so we keep that width which is about five millimeters and I've drawn that on and if you can see there I've copied my design I've copied and I've actually add another drop hole there as well so I've, I've further improved my design and then there is my final design so with my final design there I'm now ready to start making my maze so we've got the three stages we've got the drawn stage We've got the stage with the card strips where we're modeling it, we've evaluated it, and here's our design ready to go. So for the next stage here, we'll be sticking on the strips and drilling the drop holes. So that was the iterative design process on the maze game. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.